There we go with Oh Susanna. That's our song of the day because I needed something quick. So on this date back in 2014, it's been 10 years. This is a 10 year anniversary of Pete Seeger's passing. He died at the age of 94. So if he was still around today, he'd be 104. <laughs> That's some quick math, I tell you what. Um, so yeah, he lived one heck of a long life and had a very, very lengthy career. Uh, started in the 40s playing with um, Woody Guthrie, Mr. Woody Guthrie, at their group. Their group they had together was the Almanac Singers. Huh. Oh, and he made many regular appearances on Alan Lomax and Nicholas Ray's weekly CBS radio show. Uh, Alan Lomax, a very, very uh, important character in music history, especially of the 20th century. Uh, that song, of course, is a... Um, American folk tune uh, that Pete Seeger did um, is very well known for. He was such an amazing figure to bring those simple songs to a broader um, a broader audience. It was not written by Seeger. It was written by Stephen C. Foster, uh, who lived from 1826 to 1864. Um, many people consider him to be the father of American music. Um, interesting. He wrote more than 200 songs. Uh, okay. So like the guy who wrote Oh Susanna also wrote Camp Town Races. You know that one? Uh, Hard Times Come Again, No Mower, Old Folks at Home, Swanee River, My Old Kentucky Home, Genie with the Light Brown Hair, Old Black Joe, and Beautiful Dreamer. And many of his compositions remain popular today. So yeah, that's something new I learned um, that tune Oh Susanna goes even further back so that would be uh, an example of a song that is in the public domain so because it was first published in 1848 and it's over 150 years since the composer's passing so I mean I'm pretty sure it's in public domain if I upload it and there's a copyright issue, then I'll know that I was incorrect. All right, there we go. Oh, Susanna, that's our song of the day.